back. As I mentioned, we have Anthony Libertori here on behalf of the United Mutual. Well, welcome. How are you? I'm great. Thank you, Lisa, for having me again, and it's good to be here. Well, thank you for uh, coming in. I know it's hard to get up early morning on Monday, so, <laughs> yeah. so welcome. And uh, in front of you, you have the Village Breeze, yes. and we talked to Elise about it, and it's a great publication for our residents. And uh, I love the fact that you're going to kind of walk us through on how we can actually get a digital version of it. Yes. This is an amazing uh, piece of uh, work for us. My, as I told you, my son and daughter-in-law work up in the, in, in, um, in the movie industry, and they're really totally impressed with this. If you put this on your coffee table or something, it's eye-catching. Yeah. And as you intimated from cover to cover, anything and everything you need to know can be found in here. Exactly, exactly. So in case you don't go online and you want to see a map or you want to see schedules or things like that, you can certainly find a lot of that in. Every, every article and every page has a, a live link that you can put into your a computer mm -hmm. and it, it's live it goes yeah. right to the subject that it's okay. discussing here it's, okay. it's just absolutely just everything you need to know <laughs> and and then of course if you would rather look at it online you can certainly do that there like you said there's live links in there and then um, but what if you didn't want to look at the magazine you want to go online how do you do that well you go to the, the Laguna Woods the Laguna Woods Village website mm -hmm. And then when you open that up, you'll see there uh, on the, I guess you call it the barcode at the top or the, uh, the menu, the bar menu. Mm -hmm. And you can go to news, mm -hmm. and click on news, and then it'll open up uh, this whole other uh, page. Mm -hmm. And there on your left, you'll see there's the current, uh, the current uh, picture on our, our breeze mm -hmm. and you can click on the, the little orange thing that says download and it will put on your computer the whole village breeze cover to cover wow and it's just and it's just an amazing production for you know us here in the village is 18,000 of us and I'm telling you it's a very eye catching <laughs> and anything you need to know Telephone numbers, websites, it's its there. Yeah, yeah. And that actually is printed in every one of them. So, I mean, if you wanted to, like if you didn't have the current one, you could go back to another one you may have. And they have a lot of the same information because those are resources. Yeah, they are. And again, once you click on, on that site, news, it gives you the option to go back to previous issues. And, and the photography, and it's just amazing. Yeah. It's just I mean, it's eye-catching. You can't pass it by. It's amazing. <laughs> All right. And then um, we talk a lot about projects, um, meaning there might be a United project that you're working on or any of the mutuals might have some projects. This one in particular is a landscape project log. Yes. When you, when you open up and you go on uh, uh, to the uh, different uh, options, you can see, first of all, in our schedule there, if you look at the schedule, it shows you that the Landscape Committee meets on a Thursday, mm -hmm. and it tells you uh, the date, the time, where it's going to meet, right? And uh, and you can click on United, and further down, it'll give you the agenda packet, and then later the agenda, and more importantly, for you to want to stay at home mm -hmm. and uh, with your uh, partner, there's the uh, Zoom meeting link. So oh, okay. The, so let's go to the next slide, which has the calendar that we're talking about. So there you have the, the schedule for the month, and then you could click on those little those little icons, those colored ones, right. and it'll bring you to the next page, which is what you're talking about, which is the Zoom link, right? Right. Yeah, okay. I got a little ahead of you there. Yeah, That's and okay. when, when, that, when that comes up there, you just look down, and it gives you all the options. So even, even there, a reminder. You can add a reminder if you want. And then the calendar there, you can click on that. Uh, and then right below it tells you it's going to be held in the boardroom right. at our location. And then a, a description mm -hmm. and agenda packet. Mm. And the thing is, <laughs> you know, the agenda packet is amazing, but some of the agenda packets could be pretty lengthy and you can yeah. burn your printer up. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. That's but true. I mean, but, but for like landscape committee, it's not a deal, but if you try to 
download like the United Monthly thing. It's over 100 pages. Oh, good night. If yeah, that would be so. a lot. That you, would be a lot. Yeah. But you know what? You could follow along right on your computer oh, without yeah, stay having on to your print computer. any of it. Yeah, you yeah. can follow page for page. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. And then also you'll see there uh, the project logs on the agenda packet that this page gives you an example of what it looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, what's going on, the, where it is, where the project is, what, uh, how far along it is, if it has to be completed, if it is completed. So, and, and from there you can get, in, get more and more involved if you choose to. Right, right, okay. Well, it's very detailed, which it, is way different than it used to be. It's very detailed. I mean, I can't imagine you not being able to find the answer of a question that you have about a project yeah. in here. And it, it will direct you to the different places if you have more questions. Okay, all right. Now, instead of going through the agenda packet, is there another way to access the logs? Yes, you can uh, go on to uh, lagunawoodsvillage.com. Mm -hmm. And when that opens up, uh, in the menu bar at the top, look for residents, mm -hmm. click on residents, and then you can go to maintenance and landscaping and then seek out United's maintenance and construction project log. Okay. And so it, it's it just, I think it's pretty easy. Even for, I'm not a computer guy, but even for me, I can find my way through this and I am not a computer guy. <laughs> well, I think having uh, some sort of a guideline, I know some people, I don't know, when I played cards, they used to yeah. never remember what suit Beat yeah. the other suit, right? So if you have a little, write it down so you know. Well, my problem is I get excited when I open up these things and I don't <laughs> read. I just jump all around. Oh, if you okay. just follow the menu <laughs> yeah. and stay on, you'll keep you on track and you'll get right where you want to go. Just, right. just calm down and <laughs> have a menu. Don't get so excited. Right. <laughs> Hold back. All right. And then um, obviously we, we were talking about uh, if you have it on the digital version, the easiest way to get additional information, as you mentioned, is through clicking on the links that are in there. And what color are they? Well, the, the, the one I have is like an orange, okay. an orange color. You click on that, and there it'll fill in any questions that you have. Okay. I mean, it goes into great, great detail. Okay. And I, I think, though, um, anything you may have. And right now, as a matter of fact, with the uh, uh, landscape, we're, we're, in with, we're into trees. Yeah. <laughs> we're into our trees. and. Residents have really responded well to this, and we're happy about that, to have residents get involved, you know, have, tell us what they think, what they need and all. And, and right. this is a great way. Again, in the Village Breeze, you, go to, you open up something, you're interested, there's always going to be a live link that you can click into and really get into it deeply. Right, and that's where they may find some of their questions uh, in terms of what they may have uh, questions about. And then, of course, you've been having board, board um, meetings in the boardroom now. And yes. so are they pretty well attended or should more people the, show up? The landscape meeting is, was absolutely, it just blew my mind. I hate to say it that way, but it did because I wouldn't say hundreds, but the room is filled with people who are worried and making sure that the, we're uh, paying attention to the tree cycle. You know, yeah. particularly of mention was the canary pines. Mm. And, and people got out, they're on the internet searching things and they're really helping us out. And now be, because of that, uh, the, the landscape committee is just alive and wow. bec because of this. And of course, people at home can tune in yes. through the breeze right. or the link right. and, and get involved with this because it's important. This is where we live. Right, now tell me, uh, Tell me a little bit about the, the tree subject matter. I mean, I know we have so many different kinds of trees. Uh, overall, are the health of the trees all right? Well, the, the, the trees have been here a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And what, what they want to do now, and we have our, our uh, chair leader is uh, Director Diane Casey and the staffer is Kurt Reiterman. And what they're doing is we want to um, have a survey of the trees to see the state of their health, the health of the trees. Okay. And uh, so we want in-house, an in-house arborist and an outside arborist to go through and give their opinion on the health of the trees to decide mm -hmm. if there's some sick ones or ones that yeah. need to be removed or they don't need to be removed. And mm -hmm. this has got 
the residents are really heavily involved, and we're going to have a subcommittee now, okay, an, an ad hoc committee, mm -hmm. off the landscape committee, to get really involved in this stuff yeah. because you know, even though we live in the desert, we love our trees. Well, <laughs> yes, and you know it's funny. Um, they are they actually have people that are called tree doctors. Yeah, and they come out and they take samples of the interior of the trunks and the roots, and then they analyze it and they decide, like you said, whether they're healthy or not, and kind of what they need in terms of nutrients. Yeah. Well, what really impressed me, this has really got the residents involved. That's great. And we're so happy with that, really. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. And of course, if anyone wants any information about um, all the things that you mentioned, they can go to the Village Breeze, and uh, either the one that's the paper one, or they can go online. Right, you got it online, you've got it, and the online one is cover to cover. That's the same right. thing reading, and, and you can find anything you want in there. I mean, it's, yeah. it's attractive, and it's just loaded <laughs> with stuff. Really. It is. Well, we appreciate you taking the time to visit with us. Thank you. Well, thank you. And we'll see you again next yes. time. Have a great day. Okay. And if you want more information about the breeze or any of the other items that we have discussed, including the trees, you can always go to lagunawoodsvillage.com. We'll be right back.